Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Rome Trotting. Today is Vlogmas Day 13 and you asked and we're gonna deliver. We are finally going to try the Danish Eulafrokus meal for you on camera and give you a reaction to what we think. So if you've been with us for the entire journey, welcome back. If you're brand new to this, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Mike and my favorite part of the meal is the garlic. lax. And I'm Derek and my favorite is the snaps. So let's go try them both. After a quick look at the menu, we decided to order drinks. First, we had snaps naturally, and a nice Yule brew to kick off the meal. We decided to go with the big Christmas menu, which came with an explanation from our server, but you get to have the recap from Mikey here. So I hope I do this justice what the server told us, but the first course is going to be all kinds of fish, and that's why we had the snaps to help the fish swim. We're going to start with some of the herring, which will all go on smelba, and we're going to have a little bit of the pork fat, as opposed to butter, which normally goes on the smelba bread. So we have some regular marinated herring that will go with some of the sauce here. I think there's also some curry herring that will go with the other sauce over here. And we then also have some nice fried fish that will go with the lemon. And then we go over to classic smelba with egg and with shrimp. That'll be nice with a nice mayo. And then we'll finish up with some, um, some smoked salmon. And that'll go nice with the honey mustard sauce here. It's funny to think about the first time that we came to Denmark uh, was in November. So we went out for the Yule menu at uh, a local restaurant and tried the Yule focus at uh, the traditional Danish Christmas meal. We had no idea how to eat it properly. We didn't know how to make smorbel out of it. And we literally were just picking up pieces of bread and eating it uh, with butter, thinking that it was a basket of bread for the meal and um, having the various fishes and, uh, and shrimp and just eating everything individually as if it was a bunch of a la carte small plates rather than something we're supposed to construct smorbel out of. It's funny to think how far we've come. So while you may think of the herring as the most traditional part of the meal, my personal favorite is the gravy lax. The salmon, it's prepared, it's dried, it's got the fantastic honey mustard sauce on top of it. I literally could eat it all year round, but I'll enjoy it today. Okay, so we are waiting for the second round of food, which is more of a meat and potatoes uh, meal that you would expect here in Denmark. Uh, but I do have to mention that earlier this week, we talked about a Danish Yule Focus uh, work party and wrongly characterized the taste of snaps. Uh, snaps is a bit more of a caraway uh, flavoring. Uh, so those are the seasons made with not anise. Uh, so we did say that it was more of a licorice flavor. I can now tell you that it definitely is not, and it's a bit more palatable than uh, we described <laughs> earlier this week. Mm. Good stuff. So while snaps is obviously a key part of the Danish Christmas meal, another key part is going to be beer. A nice dark Yule brew is always a perfect complement to this entire meal. And I'm sure you could have a cocktail or a glass of wine, but there's not much more Danish than having a nice Yule brew with a nice Christmas lunch. It's cool. Okay, so the next round is here, which is all of the meats. So we've got a chicken salad with bacon and pickles and the frikadella or the Danish meatballs. Uh, we also have the fleskesteak, which is uh, fried pork. Uh, with red onions and parsley sauce, the Danish sausage uh, with mustard, and the brown, which is like a Danish pate. That become. After two full courses, we were nearly full, but had a little bit room left for the famous Danish dessert, Riz Salamond. So, next is coming the last dish of the Christmas lunch, which is going to be dessert. It'll be a riz alamand, which is a delicious rice pudding with some cherry sauce on top. And if you serve it in a large group, normally you'll hide an almond in the middle of it. So that way, the person who finds it is going to win an extra present on Christmas. Pretty cool, huh? All right, Derek, so we had our Christmas lunch. What did you think? That was good. I mean, I have 
uh, tried this before, but I have to say now I feel like everything is in a, a more full focused context and I actually understand how you're supposed to eat it, why all of these foods are eaten every year at a, at a Christmas lunch and a little bit more of the background. And thank you all for kind of helping us to understand that a little bit better. Yeah, I enjoyed it definitely. It was really nice. The snaps was tasty. Mm -hmm. The fish is always good. And the hard part is you have so much fish that by the time the meat comes out, you're already almost full. But there's always room for resell and one at the end. That yeah, <laughs> was really good. I'm glad we did this. Great yeah. way to celebrate Christmas together. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for suggesting that we do this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell for notifications so that you can be uh, the first to watch our videos every time they're dropped, especially during Vlogmas from now until Christmas Day itself. Thanks guys. Uh -huh.